News, the Illinois Senate approving the assault weapons ban. It now heads back to the House. WGN's Sean Lewis has been tracking this story and joins us now with more on today's development. Good Sean? evening to both of you. The vote in the state Senate 3420 passing that amended assault weapons ban about 30 minutes ago while negotiations were underway with lawmakers. This afternoon, health care experts right here in Chicago were hoping for this outcome. As the last minute wrangling happened in Springfield. The damage from an assault weapon is not like the damage from other guns. A group of Chicago doctors convened. It's a public health crisis. With a plea to pass the assault weapons ban. I think we can all say that enough is enough and that should not be a controversial statement. The amended Senate bill defines which weapons are deemed assault style and immediately bans the sale of those weapons and high capacity magazines. It also creates a system to register the serial numbers of currently owned weapons, tracking them and preventing future sales and transfers. In addition, it moves the date of background checks for person to person sales up to July of this year. Friends, <laughs> you've got to know that uh, the actions that you're taking right now are tyrannous. Tonight, Senate Republicans railed against the bill. We're going to make felons out of taxpayers. Why don't we go after the bad guys, put them behind bars, and actually keep them there? So make no mistake, when you vote for this today, you're violating your oath of office. Nobody's for the criminal misuse of firearms. In fact, this industry works very hard to make sure that guns don't get into the hands of people who, who are not qualified purchasers. Our children and our youth have the right to develop their full human potential in our society. They can't do that when they're afraid of gun violence. Doctors say this bill, as it stands, will help. Our communities need common sense solutions that will reduce gun violence. While gun advocates say any restrictions, they will fight. There's no question of going to court. That's why we gave no testimony. There's no fixing this. Uh, we didn't want to give them subject matter expertise on how to make a better bill. They can read our objections in the court filings. Now, Governor Pritzker, uh, the House and Senate leaders releasing this statement just a few minutes ago saying after continued negotiations between the leaders, stakeholders and advocates, we have reached a deal on one of the strongest assault weapons bans in the country. With this legislation, we are delivering on the promises Democrats have made and together we are making Illinois gun laws a model for the nation. Now, with the passage in the Senate, this bill will now go back to the state house where it is expected to pass again, then onto the governor's desks for his signature. What is also expected is a certain uh, challenge to be mm -hmm. filed by courts. gun rights advocates. Yeah. All right, Sean, appreciate the update. You bet.